cooking is not the shwa. Neboka man, you is chewing away thing. I did fry some beans. Man, you think I put more beans than mete mete? Now, there are certain ingredients you should not tamper with when cooking. There are certain situations that need faith. If you tamper with your faith, that is all. Faith does not need bleaching. You have not seen understood me. We don't bleach oil when cooking. We don't bleach oil. If you bleach your faith, how do you bleach your faith? If you allow your faith to be brought down, that's all. The moment your faith is down, when something happens, bam! Now, ingredients helps food to taste well. The most important ingredients among ingredients, salt and maggi, it helps. Salt and, you can take things, put red oil, put salt maggi, it's ready for gari. Let's think carefully. Let's come back now to faith. There are certain ingredients that is needed for your faith to be strong. Persecution, trials, and temptations. If you say you have faith and you are not going through persecution, forget. If you say you have faith and you're not going through rejection, insults, forget. These are things that the devil will bring on daily basis to test your faith, to see if truly the God you have denounced truly is your God. The last moment for you to put and the last thing for you to put for you to put down your pot of granite soup. It's not even the fish, it's granite. Granite has its quality when the flavor is still raw inside the soup. But some of us, you boil it, fry it. You burn them. So today you cough, we don't bleach oil. <laughs> Faith without temptation. Faith without persecution. Faith without trials cannot last in your life. What makes your faith to be strong? The level of persecution you are going to hear. I have tested stagnation, disappointment, limitation, insults, name calling, persecution, temptation, rejection, insult in another higher dimension. So, when you see me celebrating grace today, because of the foundation, I allowed the Holy Ghost to lay before me. Your faith grows based on persecution. Your faith grows based on trials. Your faith grows based on temptation. When all these things happen around you and you resist, you will see another increase in your spirituality.